What's up, Kansas City? I'm Marlon Garlington. We're here at Victoria's Life on the Walk Baby Love Crusade for Lupus Foundation of America Heartland Chapter. And right now, I have the legendary Williams brothers, Melvin and Doug. How's it going, gentlemen? What's up? It's that going, going great, great, man. Going Doug great. Doug. Good. Um, first of all, I want you guys to introduce yourself and uh, tell a little bit about um, how your journey began. Well, I'm Melvin Williams of the Williams Brothers, and um, I mean, we started singing with Doug when we were about, what, six, five, and six years old, yeah. and uh, started the, the Little Williams Brothers in 1960. My dad organized a group, um, and um, with my other brother, Leonard, and some, and some cousins, and we went from there to the Sensational Williams Brothers, from there to the Williams Brothers, and here we are now. and. Uh, it's kind of started doing it professionally in 19... In the early 70s. 70s, yeah, in the early mm -hmm. 70s, yeah. yes. I'm Doug Williams, of course. I'm the baby of the family. Uh, I, started, I started singing with the group when I was five years old. And, and 50 some odd years later, I'm still here singing, still here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, what inspired you to take on singing? You can start. You go ahead. Well, uh, you know, my, we were raised in a singing family. My dad was singing, my mom, they sang on my mom's side, my uncles and grandfather and all of them. And uh, so it was just kind of a generational thing. My older brothers, Jackson Southern Airs, Huey Williams, Frank Williams. And uh, so it just kind of started that way. And, uh, and we just kind of, kind of, you know, brought it up through a, a family generation. But, you know, that, that was, that was insp an inspiration for <coughs> us. And, and along the way, you know, there were a lot of uh, a lot of people that inspired us. You know, starting with the Jackson Southern Airs, the Dixon Hummingbirds, the Nightingales, Mighty Clouds of Joy, Absolutely. and the list goes on and on. And, and you know, and you know, even from the secular side, you had the Rita Franklin, the Old Jays, and I know you're Sam Cooke, Sam Cooke, Donny Hathaway, and all that. Yeah. Know, very, very heavy influences on yeah. what I do today, as far as musical mm -hmm. music is concerned. So yeah. it, you know, it was a lot of people that influenced us vocally and musically, you know, even up until the late Luther Vandross, man, we just, you know, we are so heavily, you know, um, when it, you know, involved when it comes to tone, voice tones, we just, I just, I love tones, so these yeah. cats, like the Dunnings and the Sounds and the Luthers and all of them Reapers, they got Gladys Knight, they got tones, so we, yeah, we just kind of sunk into them tones, man. Yeah, yeah. great singers, great, great singers. singers. Now, I just like to thank, uh, I have to thank my parents for introducing me to you all at a young age as we would take our family vacations to Mississippi and Arkansas. We would ride to the Williams Brothers and sometimes see you play over and over. And I, of course, as a younger man, I didn't want to listen to you all. But as I did, I grew to love the harmonizing and, okay. and just the togetherness and it was just it was like music to my ears, okay. I would say. So I definitely fell in love with you guys at, a, at an early age and when I heard that you were coming, I had to call my mom and dad and say, hey, they're going to be here. Mm -hmm. I definitely think you all should be here because this is... This is wonderful. Yeah. But, but at least at least you were honest about it, man. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to hear it. Yeah, you didn't want to hear it. But, but we are so grateful and honored yeah. that uh, our music, you know, inspired you and, and uh, it was what an inspiration in your life. And uh, and that's what it's all about, you know, uh, being able to to uh, change people's lives, um, open doors, and just, so they can see a better way of a better way of living, a better way of you know treating each other, man, and, and just. Just uh, you know, just in general, man, to 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 lift up and glorify the name of Jesus, man. If we yeah. if we do that, man. I, you know, our singing is not in vain. You know. So. You know, the other thing too is uh, we've been an inspiration to a lot of young people, even today. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of young people listen to the Williams Brothers. They buy the Williams Brothers music, and they say that they are truly blessed by what it is that we do. And you know, it's a myth that. You know, sometimes that the older guys like ourselves don't, you know, appeal to the younger generation. But we found that to be not true. 
Yeah. Because it's so many in, in, in so many concerts, we have a lot of young people, and you see them singing the song. When we sing the song, they sing it right along with us. They yeah. know the words. So that tells you right there, we're appealing to the young as well as the older older generation. Well, you know, and, I, and I another thing, I just thank God, and we, you know, we give Him all the praise that He allowed us longevity, man, and consistency in this music business yes. and ministry. So, yeah. uh, and I think that's one of the things, you know, that. Uh, that I think the, from the generation to generation that we've been able to connect because we just tried to stay fresh with the music, uh, with strong lyrics, uh, the songs with, uh, you know, with some, some some content, man, some songs with some some true meaning, some meaning, yeah, yeah and yeah. some, yeah, yeah. So that's, I think that's part of the, the Williams Williams Brothers legacy. Legacy. Right? Yeah, legacy. I definitely uh, have to admit too that I had to go out there and watch you guys' performance. I was back here mostly doing interviews. I said, let me go out there, film a little bit, take a couple pictures so that I can share with my grandmother and let them know that I was there. And even when I take vacation now, I still ride to the Williams Brothers. Wow, okay. Uh, Pastor yeah, Shrine right Caesar. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's, it's just, it's in me now. Okay. Right? So okay. I definitely appreciate you guys. But um, like, so you have a long list of uh, albums, songs, uh, what is the most requested or your favorite song performer? Well, still here, as far as I'm concerned, that's, that, that has become a Williams Brothers anthem. That, I, that's what I call it, the Williams Brothers anthem. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and uh, but I have to go back to a song like God Will Deliver on Time. You know, I don't know if you listened to that one, Color That Man, but <laughs> that was one that's kind of, you know, that, uh, you know, that, one of my favorites. And one of the, the biggest requested songs, of course, is Cool and Water. Yeah. We can't get away from anywhere without doing Cool and Water and, and Still Here. We just have to. Can you give us a little snippet of Cool oh and Water? Oh my God. God. Really quick. Okay. And it felt like Cool and Water. Cool and Water felt like Cool and Water. Cool and Water. Cool and Water from Grandma's Way. All right. <laughs> All right, now, really quick, there's a young person. That's going to cost you, man. That's going to cost you. <laughs> there's a that's, young person that's out there <laughs> that uh, wants to inspire to be a singer or um, leave a legacy like you are. What kind of advice would you give them coming up in the industry? Well, first and foremost, I always tell people who are uh, aspiring to be um, musicians, singers, and want to do it on a professional level. First of all, be very serious about your ministry. If you're in gospel music, because this is a ministry, be very serious about the ministry first. Don't get into it looking to get rich quick. It's not a get rich quick scheme. Right. It's about ministry and allowing God to elevate you as you get into the ministry. And I also tell young people to, to study, learn as much as much as you can about the industry because you need to know about publishing, writers, royalties, all these kind of things, and um, you know uh, because it's important if you're going into it as a profession. Everybody that's involved in gospel music is not a Christian, yeah. So you just need to know: have you a good entertainment attorney, you know, to, to look over your contracts before you sign anything, and just uh, you know be inspired by what you do. Your music, let your music inspire you. Right, exactly. don't, don't try to be like anybody else. You know, I hear a lot of people say, I want to be just like you. No, you don't. Because they don't know the trials and tribulations that we had to go through to get, to, to get where we are today. Just be yourself. Let God use you, grow in your own ministry, and just and let it happen that way. That's what I, I say to young people. No. Well, you know, and, and I don't know if Doug said it. He said so much, but I, and I just, you know, I'll add to that. You know, it's, I don't know if you said success may not come overnight. Right, it's not overnight. So, so you may, it may not be overnight. So you just be in it for the longevity, be in it for the long haul, and for the sincerity. And uh, and and like Doug said, just love what you're doing and embrace what you're doing. And, and that way, you know, you, you make it your destiny versus your job. You know right. what I'm saying? So. And make it your ministry, and that's what that's what it's all about. And I always remember too that there's always room to grow. You never get too good to right, learn. Right, right. You know, we've been in it for over 50 years, and we're still learning because the industry changes, and it changes 
uh, rapidly. Right. So you're always learning something new. Don't get set in a, in, a, in a place where you think you know it all. You never know it all. Yeah. You know, it's always never, room, never too old to learn. It's always room to learn and to grow. Yeah. Well, we definitely appreciate the Williams brother. And uh, how can some of your fans contact you or find your music? Well, you can you can just go to www.blackberryrecords.com. Blackberryrecords.com. Okay. Yeah, check us out on Facebook, all that stuff. You know. Yeah, we on Twitter and all that kind of good stuff. So you can find us on there. And we thank you for staying true to yourself and true to the ministry. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank you for your performance here. The yeah. Walt Baby Love Crusade, Victorious Life. I'm Marlo Burlington. You can check out more videos at whatsupkansascity.net.